the conflict in Syria continues, it's been extremely hard to establish exactly what's been happening here inside the country. We're joined now by independent journalist Thierry Misson. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, you've been working on the ground here in Syria. Can you tell us what your perceptions of the situation are? It begins with some uh, armor groups entering inside the country and uh, making big troubles, uh, trying to create uh, Islamic Emirates on the border, uh, first in uh, near Jordan. And uh, these people uh, recruit some others to, to make uh, bigger fighting groups. And uh, now they are entering in coordination with the uh, political opposition. And you know that in this country there is a, a long history of opposition between the Ba'ath Party and the Muslim Brotherhood. So now there is an alliance between this, um, the, the Muslim Brothers and these uh, armed uh, uh, groups coming from abroad. So that's why these groups can uh, go quite everywhere, because they have some support now inside the, the population. Uh, it begins by uh, uh, foreign uh, subversion, but uh, they find the support inside the country. Uh, and it's difficult to know why they find this support. If it's because the people uh, is ready to use any means to reverse the government, or if it's uh, uh, for some ideological uh, reasons, and uh, if you heard the Muslim brothers, they said they, uh, they will reverse uh, uh, the President Bashar al-Assad, not because they want democracy, but because he is Alawit. So it could be the beginning of a, a religious war inside the country. Now, we've heard Syria described as a country on the brink of civil war. Do you think the situation is actually there yet? Uh, we have seen some, the beginning of a civil war in some places, especially in Banyas, but now it's finished, and now in, in Homs. But uh, uh, nothing is uh, extending to the country. So I think uh, because of this uh, external pressure against uh, Syria and uh, all these people entering inside Syria will continue. But I don't think, and I have no reason now to think that uh, it will extend to all the country. By the past, this country was uh, an example of uh, friendly living between the different communities. And since a very long time, it's not at all uh, from the Ba'ath, uh, that's uh, from the history of, uh, of Syria. You know that uh, since the 13th century in, uh, in Damascus, there is a, a, a big uh, mosque. Uh, and uh, in this mosque, every day, there is uh, Christian, uh, Sunni, and Shias, and sometimes, uh, by the past, Jewish people praying together every day at the same mosque. So uh, they have a long tradition of uh, peaceful uh, uh, coexistence between the communities. But uh, since the ten last years in the Middle East, the, the imperialistic system is pushing the division between the communities. And that's the, you know, this idea to reshape the, the grid or Middle East uh, dividing the, the people uh, in different sects. We can see that uh, there is now some people in, uh, in this country supporting this project of uh, hostility between uh, different uh, communities. And uh, some of them are saying that uh, as the Sunnis are the most important community, they have to control the poor and uh, to exclude other sects from the poor. You're also on the ground during the war in Libya. In what ways would you draw comparisons to the situation that's happening now in Syria? So the way to act for NATO is exactly the same. They do exactly the, the same way to create the file uh, on the United Nations, first with the Geneva Council on Human Rights and after in the Security Council. They try to manipulate the Arab League uh, exactly in the same way. In, uh, in the Libyan case, they organized a big story in front of the Geneva Council for Human Rights. They said there is uh, 5,000 people killed uh, by the security forces. Of course, it's absolutely wrong. There is a lot of people killed, but very few by the security forces. Most of them are killed by these armor groups. 
they put inside the country. And that the same armor groups they use in Libya. And now you have, there is some different uh, estimation, but you have uh, at least 600 people coming from Al-Qaeda in Libya who are now in Syria. Especially, you know that uh, uh, the, the military governor of uh, Tripoli, Libya, is now is in Skanderun in, uh, in Turkey to organize all the fight inside Libya. And the head of the, what we call the, the Tripoli Brigade, which was the people from Al-Qaeda now responsible for the security in uh, Tripolitana, uh, they are now, all of them, inside Syria. And uh, uh, a famous uh, Spanish reporter who was first in Libya recognized them here, in, inside, at the top of this uh, so-called uh, free uh, Syrian army, but there is not Syrian. But, uh, you know, in, in Libya, the support in the street it was only in uh, Syrianica, because there was uh, um, an old contentious between Syrianica and Tripolitana. It was, this country was created artificially very late. So you don't have such a thing in, uh, in Syria. In Syria, the only way to divide the people is to use the confessional war. So they try to do that now, opposing uh, uh, the Alawites uh, to the Sunnis and of course also to uh, uh, Christian Druze and so on. But uh, the main fight they, they want to create is between Alawites and Sunnis. The last uh, uh, confessional war in Syria was uh, 160 years ago, so it's difficult to create that. How do you see the situation progressing now? First, uh, on the military level, um, I, I think that uh, all the, the action to destabilize the, the country are not working. We see a lot of uh, problems, a lot of people killed, but uh, uh, this is not the civil war they try to organize. If they want to enter with foreign troops inside, like they do in Libya, or using a proxy from the Gulf Council, I think uh, they will have the very quick problem because this country is ready for battle. You know, this country is living since 60 years in, uh, in the Middle East, always at war. That's not like Libya. Now, on the economic level, there is big problems. The beginning of the sanctions uh, destroy different parts of the economy, of course. All the tourism is uh, totally destroyed. But um, during the winter, you have no more fuel. Um, there is also a problem with uh, um, different imported goods. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I think this uh, um, is now changing because there is a new agreement between uh, Syria, Iran, and China for that. So they try now to impose the uh, Arabic sanctions and uh, it could be a, really a disaster for this country, but uh, they discover very quickly that it will be also a disaster, an economic disaster for the other uh, Arab countries around. So they have to stop these uh, sanctions. So now the, uh, Syria is able to resist a very long time to this uh, uh, pressure from NATO. Do you think that President Assad, though, now has the capability, the capacity to remain in power? Of course. And uh, uh, the problem is that the, the people who try to destabilize Assad uh, will have a stronger Assad after that. They are creating a myth. They have already Hassan Nasrallah, and now they will have uh, uh, Bashar al-Assad. At the beginning, they have a wrong evaluation of the problem. They think it would be very simple to create the civil war. The fitna, the, the confessional civil war. But uh, they make a mistake. They create this Islamic Emirate in Dera without the number of weapons they need. In Libya, when they create an Islamic Emirate, when they create two big Islamic Emirates in Libya and in Syria, Nica, they have a lot of weapons from the beginning because they seize the weapon from the army. Not only the, the, the weapons send uh, smuggling uh, underground, you know but they have very big stocks. So they can have a basis to extend the civil war in the country. But here, they failed. And uh, after that, they use the, the people they have sent, going from one town to another, creating problems from one town to another, but not able 
to destabilize all the country at the same time. And I think now it's too late. They will fail. Thank you very much for joining us.